Hey, you guys, Hadassah here. Look, there's a lot of changes going on, okay? Um, however, I wanted to come on here and speak about something. I just came back, you know, me and my husband went out to eat. We was discussing some business stuff and everything, right? So, on our way back home, there's a, um, there's a, a store that's being built in the community. It's a grocery store. And the hiring sign is up there and everything. Now, as you all know, at least for my subscribers, you know I have seven children. For those who are new here, first of all, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I have seven children. <laughs> and so five of them are still home. Okay, I just graduated a homeschool graduate. So there's three left in homeschool and there are three who are adults. And one, I'm the caregiver for, okay, my daughter who lives with cerebral palsy. So they're all still at home. And so this is the year that one of my sons turned 16. So of course he would be you know, in a regular year, he would probably would have, you know, filled out a job application, um, you know, got his, got his feet wet in the working world. Okay. Um, and although I'm an avid entrepreneur, um, I do, you know, I just, I don't tell my children what they have to do or what they need to do or whatever, because I just, I, I do understand that everybody's not a born business owner, okay? Or even an entrepreneur for that matter. So, um, we teach both, okay? I teach both and then I let them choose, but they do have the experience of, of, of knowing and understanding both. So, this year would have been the year that my 16-year-old got a job, if that's what he chose to do. And he said that's what he wanted to do. Well, COVID, <laughs> right? So, made it a little harder, but he was able to make some money doing um, some things. Like, say, if I go out of town for business, he would step in as the caregiver for my disabled daughter and I would pay him what I would get paid, right? So, I mean, he doesn't have any major bills or anything like that. So, of course, what he's getting paid is like, you know, like, yay, wow, right? Anyway, but he did sign, uh, I mean, not sign, but he he um looked into filling out a job application online for the grocery store that is being built in our community. And it's little, literally within walking distance. He could walk there. He could ride his bike there. I could drop him off. I mean, it's walking distance. Well, when he went on the site, we talking about little regular jobs like back in the day when when I was a teenager and you go get a job, you didn't need a college degree to be a bagger. Right? You didn't need a college degree to stock the groceries on the shelves or the products on the shelves. You didn't need a degree to bring the carts in. When he told me that, that that's what was on the job application... And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I looked. Yeah. They're asking for degrees for a bagger to bring in carts to crazy. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm, well, we're going to figure something out different for you. We're entrepreneurs over here. We'll make it happen. Right? Right. So, why am I saying all of this? Well, I'm saying all of this because we are still in the, um, you know, this pandemic year. If we understand history, 
um, just do some research on 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. They dealt with that pandemic for about a year, a good year or two. I'll say two. And there were three waves to this pandemic. And more people, more lives were lost in the second wave than in the first and the third wave. Okay. Um, during the summertime, the death toll was like very low to zero. And then when the weather broke and fall came and the, and you know, the, the uh, temperature went down flu season, then what? It just came back in like a wrecking ball and the numbers were skyrocketed. We have to know and understand history. We just do. When we don't, that's where we mess up because we don't know what to do. But if you if you know history, then you know what to do in order to not have it repeat, at least for you and your household, right? So, why am I saying all this and what does it have to do with jobs and all of this? Because just like at the beginning of this COVID, you know, coronavirus, um, COVID pandemic, um, we were in the house. We were in the house. We were on shutdown and, and only the only ones that could go out were the essential workers. If you worked at a grocery store or if you, you know, worked at a... um. Um, you're in the, in, in the medical profession and you worked in the hospital. Otherwise, you were at home, okay? Like food service industry, uh, grocery stores, and, and you know, medical professionals. It was the only thing moving. Otherwise, you were at home. And then possibly um, there was job losses, right? So what happens if... That's the case this second time around that is going to be first than the worst. I mean, first, I mean, worse than the first and the third wave that we haven't come across yet because we're going into the second wave. You have to find something um, as far as business or income producing activities for yourself to do okay uh this economy isn't playing with anybody okay it's not playing and not only that we are in a seven year period of financial change of of earth changes uranus is in taurus for the next several years that's the astrological part speaking Uranus is in Taurus for the next seven several years. There will be money changes. There will be earth changes. There will be resource changes. There will be a wealth transfer. And I'm telling you right now that there are people who have, look, during the first wave of this pandemic, made, became millionaires, okay? I don't even want to talk about, you know, like, the 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 bad or the negative side of it. We're going to talk about the positive side. There were people who became millionaires, and 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 uh, you know, the founder, CEO of Amazon. Yes. Okay. Um, but he wasn't the only one that made millions of, of dollars. He wasn't the only one that became a billionaire. Well, he became a billionaire, but there were many millionaires made between, uh, within 90 days. Okay. There were millionaires made within 90 days of that pandemic. Now, here's the second wave. Will you be? another millionaire made within this time period between now and possibly June of 2021. 
I know I will be. I will be. I know too much. I know too much about these astrological happenings. I know too much about, you know, energy and wealth transfer. I know too much about, you know, affirmations, quantum physics, metaphysics, riding on the waves. I know too much about it in order to miss out on this wealth transfer. Too much. So, you know, this is not, a, um, a, you know, a post of, of, of scaring anybody or provoking fear, but it's definitely an admonishment to say, get on this wave of a wealth transfer. You do not want to miss out. You do not want to be a non-believer. And when I say non-believer, you know, most, most folks think like church and all that kind of stuff and everything. Look, you don't want to be a, I'll say this. The main characters in the Bible were wealthy people. They were wealthy. 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 Um, so you should be too. I will be. If you want more information about what it is that I do, a $7 trillion market that's just energy circulating throughout this market, you need to click the link below to get the information that you need in order to make money from your phone. <laughs> okay? That's what we're doing. Making money from your phone. Why? We'll be in the house anyway. What else would you be able to do but make money from your own phone? You're going to do one of two things. You're going to spend money on your phone or make money on your phone. So get on that side of making money on your phone in a $7 trillion market. Okay? Um, but I just wanted to share that some jobs will be... It seemed like they were necessities or whatever, but they will be obsolete. Um, some jobs, they'll require you, you to have things that it don't even make sense. Like, who needs a freaking college degree to bag groceries? Seriously? Let's stop it. Um, you know, it's just time out for foolishness. But what you want to do is position yourself and your family to receive the wealth transfer because it's happening you do not want to be in unbelief okay so click the link below this video so you can get the information that you need and you will see more um more content that's shared you're going to be seeing me doing presentations um interviews just all of that stuff because i mean i have too much information in my head in order to, for it to just be here, you know, I have to share it. I have to get it out because I've made a promise. I've made a covenant to help Yahweh's people. That's it. Help Yahweh's people. And um, no one in righteousness should be left behind. All right. And I just have to be obedient. All right. So you guys take care. Love you and see you on the other side of success. Peace. Yeah.